on this episode of Gadget, we've got your office in a box with the Sutus Business Central 200. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Welcome back to Gadget at the Techstop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Palliser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology in Honolulu, Hawaii. Now, I want to get straight into the tech because we've got uh, a product that's a little different than our usual fare here at Gadget. You see, we brought in the Sutus Business Central 200. It's an all-in-one office. Now, when we hear all-in-one, most of us, at least those of us who've been playing around in IT for a while, think of a product that does many things, but not all of them well. Well, the guys over at Sutus have tried to change that by really giving us a powerful device that promises many things, including voicemail uh, with a phone system, a voice over IP phone system, your email, your, your standard network features, all in a small package that can be moved easily from one place to another. So it's perfect for those who need a turnkey solution to start up a home office, a small to medium business, or to have something that can be moved from site to site with no muss and no fuss. Now, we've had about three months to play with this, so we've uh, run it through its paces, and this is what we found. The Sutus Business Central 200 combines all of the most commonly used office IT functions into a unit the size of a game console. Within this unassuming box is a full-featured VoIP phone system, RAID storage, email, DHCP, and VPN servers, a firewall, a NAT router, an 802.11bg wireless access point, a domain controller, an automated backup manager, 8-port 10100 switch with power over Ethernet support, and a suite of collaborative tools. The back of the BC200 is easy to understand. There's a standard power plug, a power switch, a WAN port, 8 10100 LAN ports with power over Ethernet support, a gigabit uplink port, two USB ports, microphone and speaker ports for the audio functions, and the two wireless antennas. The wireless access point on the BC200 is powerful and trouble-free. Sutus wisely incorporated detachable antennas with SMA connectors so that the user can swap in antennas that are more appropriate for their workspace. Taking off the front cover of the BC200 reveals two quick-release drive bays. The unit comes with two 250GB Seagate SATA drives that can be configured for RAID 1 for data redundancy. You could also use either of the two USB ports at the rear of the unit to quickly upgrade your storage should your office need more. My favorite tech features on the BC200 have to be the integrated 8-port PoE switch and the gigabit uplink. The PoE support of the switch means that you don't need a mess of power adapters to run your phones or the GW310 gateway. They can get power directly from the BC200, removing one layer of complexity from your network. You simply plug the PoE devices into the 10100 switch, and you'll be up and running. The Gigabit Uplink port is important because it demonstrates one of the greatest strengths of the BC200. It's expandable. The Sutus engineers wanted it to be an all-in-one box, but they also included things like the Gig Uplink so that the Sutus can grow along with the IT needs of the business. Using the BC200 the first time was quick and painless. Upon boot up, the Sutus goes through a system check and you can get a quick at a glance status of the unit by looking at the bank of LEDs. I plugged in the three included Polycom VoIP phones, connected the analog gateway, and logged into the UI for my laptop. The interface is very easy to navigate, even for the non-technical. The BC200 is a built-in web surfer that gives users an easy way to access the shared workspace. Sutus did an exceptional job at making the menu system intuitive and the wizards comprehensive though at times we did find the interface to be a little slow. Within 10 minutes, I was able to specify my internet connection type, configure network policies for the users of the three phones, and get everybody up and running and on the internet. For those who want to tweak the BC200 a bit more, there is no shortage of settings for the various services. Everything from the network settings to the date and time to the system update and backup schedule is completely user configurable. You have control over the users that are allowed to gain access into the domain 
or the shared workspace. The UI makes it easy to create new email accounts, VPN tunnels, and storage quotas for the network-attached storage. With the integrated domain controller and email server, I was able to create a set of authenticated accounts that automatically linked users to their phone extensions, email, and private or public storage areas, all within about 30 minutes. A note about the phone service on the BC200. I was expecting a nightmare of cryptic commands to get the VoIP services up and running, but the BC200 made it easy to understand how the system worked and how calls were made or received. You can set up the BC200 to use a VoIP service provider like Quest or MCI, and then all of your calls will be routed over your internet connection. A little side note, with a little hacking, we were able to get the BC200 to work just fine with Vonage. For those who wish to use their current analog lines with the BC200, or if you don't trust your internet connection to give you a completely stable phone service, Sutus also offers the GW310 Gateway, which will allow you to connect three analog lines to your BC200, while also giving you an analog outport for use with a fax machine, modem, or alarm. Sutus has established a partnership with Polycom, so it's no surprise that they included three Polycom VoIP phones for our review. But the BC200 speaks SIP, meaning that it will work with any VoIP phones using the SIP standard. It will also work with software SIP clients, meaning that you can have a virtual phone set that roams on laptops or desktops, even those that are out of the office. The BC200 doesn't have all the functions of a $50,000 enterprise-level VoIP PBX, but what it does have is a ridiculously easy way to create extensions, forward calls, handle voicemail, configure dialing plans and calling restrictions, and give your workers telecommunications flexibility. The Sutus Business Central 200 is available online now from 888voipstore.com. Prices start at $4,000 for the basic package, supporting 9 users. You can add $1,500 for a maximum of 30 users. Each Sutus Gateway 310 costs $350. Now, I'll admit, when I first heard from Sutus, I wasn't really sure if uh, you were going to be able to review this on the show, because I've played with a lot of all-in-one devices in the past, and as I said before, most of them have been wanting. Either they, they did many things, but none of them well, or they did some things very well, but then ju they just weren't really all that expandable. They, they couldn't tie into a larger network to, to, to make it grow as our business grew. Well, Sutus has solved a lot of those problems by making sure that the hardware is top-notch, by making sure it's redundant, by making sure that, yes, they've included things like wireless with detachable antennas, uh, a A-port switch with p power over Ethernet support, and the gigabit uplink to make sure that you can, you can link it up to a larger network as your needs and your demands grow. Now, one of the things I do have to say for this is, you know, it's not going to be for everybody. For those people who just want to set up a home office and they're not really worried about integrating all those different features, then yeah, you know, you could go down to your Best Buy, you could go down to your Fry's Electronics, pick up a router and, and maybe a, another switch and, and maybe a storage device and for a fraction of the cost you can be up and running. But that's not the customer that Sutus is trying to target. They're trying to get those people who need a turnkey solution, who don't want to be messing around with various products from different vendors, who want a single product that will do all the core needs that their business may have. And the Sutus really does that. I mean, I, I am impressed with how easy it is to administer. I'm impressed with how easy it is to use the various features from the storage to the voicemail to the email server. I love the fact that they've included things like the, the power over Ethernet switch. I, I love the fact that it just works. I and mean, the first time you turn this thing on and you log in, you get a screen that is so easy to navigate, so intuitive to use, that uh, you forget that you're dealing with an incredibly powerful device. Now, if you are looking for a, a business class tool, if you want something that's going to be able to get your small to medium business up and running, if you want something that's going to make you look professional, even when you're just starting out, then yes, you know, $4,000 is a lot of money for the base unit, but it's $4,000 well spent, especially when you consider that it's something that you can continue to add on to, it's something that you can continue to expand, it's something that you will use well into the future. Now, if you want to find out more about the Business Central 200, you can always go to the Sutus website at www.sutus.com, or you can go to our website to read our full write-up at www.thetechstop.net. While you're there, go ahead and check out all of our gadget episodes in high resolution. Uh, comment, subscribe, and, and maybe drop on by our YouTube page and add your support to us there.
If you want to send us an email message, either to ask us about the Sutus Business Central 200 or any of the other products that we've reviewed on Gadget, you can reach me at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you. Thank you.